Here, in the ancient Cairngorm Mountains, a lone voice is carried on the wind. It's a Scottish variation of a traditional Scandinavian refrain, calling in the reindeer from the hills. On a blustery winter's day, I've come to meet Fiona Smith, a Scottish reindeer herder, whose family manage this free-roaming herd. <laughs> right, Fiona, what do I do now? I just bang the, bang it on the ground. Bang on the ground, that's it. The girls will come over. So, Fiona, here we are, surrounded by reindeer in Scotland. How did they get here? Well, this herd was reintroduced, um, but reindeer are native to Scotland. Uh -huh. uh, many years ago, died out. Um, and they were reintroduced for the fact that this is where they should be. Um, the Cairngorms being the only place they can still live naturally uh -huh. um, in Scotland. Um, so that for them to be here, it is managed. Um, but if we turned our back on them tomorrow, they would survive. They'd survive out Absolutely. here. They got, they're perfectly adapted. Yeah. Now, reindeer fur is very special. It's in two layers, a bit like me. I've got an outer layer and an inner layer. That's just what they've got. They've got an outer layer of longer guard hairs. Then underneath, They've got this sort of thick, downy layer. And you never, ever get down to the reindeer's skin. In fact, for them, the problem isn't keeping warm, it's keeping cool. So, if you know, what other adaptations have they got to the extreme cold? OK, everything about a reindeer is designed to keep them warm or to save energy. They're like a walking thermos. They are completely insulated. They've got their lovely beard, um, which comes down below their neck, should it rain during the day and freeze at night. It's freezing down here, not up right by their windpipe. Right, that's neat. Which is amazing. And then they've got these massive wide feet uh, to spread their weight in the snow for digging. Um, and you'll see when they walk that they'll put their back feet into exactly the same spot as their front. So they're only compressing the snow the ones. Right. Let's try and have a, look at a closer look at a foot. Let's have a look. There we go. You can see the foot and the way that it all just splays out there. It's like a, like a snowshoe. It really is quite thin, very flexible. So reindeer are built to withstand extreme temperatures. Even their noses are covered in velvety fur. But there's another reason they can thrive in the Cairngorm's Arctic conditions. Even in the depths of winter, under feet of snow, reindeer can still find food, and they'll dig down to get at this stuff, lichen. Lichen's not terribly full of protein, but there's enough carbohydrate in it to keep the reindeer ticking over and keep them going throughout the winter. Reindeer will graze over large distances, and keeping in touch with the rest of the herd is vital. But that can be difficult in extreme weather and low visibility. Evolution has provided another adaptation to tackle this problem. Now, one thing you notice when you're amongst reindeer is this strange clicking sound. You hear that? Click, click, all the time. It sounds like they're treading on twigs or something, but they're not. It's a special device in their back feet. What's happening is the tendon is clicking across the bone in their back feet. And that clicking is a form of communication. So if it was snowing really hard and they're following each other along, heads down, they can hear the reindeer in front, just listening for those clicks. They don't have to grunt, they don't have to do anything. They just follow the clicks. And they're clever. Better still, by not communicating with grunts or calls, reindeers save heat. They really are superbly adapted for Britain's most extreme winter habitat. So as far as you're concerned, the reindeer should be here in Scotland for the foreseeable future, really. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, they're sort of essential part yes, of, 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 of our Scotish wildlife. Island. They're back, they're here to stay. <laughs> <laughs>